Bruce Haig, now mm. Mark Scott, the ABC M managing director, says that these cuts have forced him to make these decisions in terms of cutting mm. regional bureau. Do you think that's a defensible position? Uh, not really. As someone who's living in the country, mm -hmm. uh, it looks like um, he hasn't had the guts to stand up to the government and rather he sought to attack by hitting uh, these rural areas. Now, it may not be the case, but if Scott had any moral courage at all, he would have offered to resign because what's happening to the ABC is a political attack. And Scott should have said, right, I see what you're doing and I'm getting out of here. Now, Scott's finished no matter which way this goes. If, if, a, if a Liberal government gets... If they get re-elected, he's gone. And if you get a coalition... Um, a Labor government coming in, he's gone. But there's so another 18 has... months in his, in his yeah, contract. Yeah. But, what, so but why, would it, well... why would a resignation from Mark Scott solve this, the budgetary problem? Well, it would, it would, get, it would show ABC. what's going on. It would show the Australian public what's going on, that this institution, which is the ABC... An Australian icon, which is an independent body, is under attack for vindictive reasons and because uh, programs like Four Corners put on a program that apparently ruined the beef industry. Now, there's a lot of payback going on here from a lot of very narrow-minded people. Oh, no. And I think Scott... No, I'm going to finish. And <laughs> Scott should have stood up to them. It may be that Scott has decided to attack uh, the government by hitting rural Australia. What most of us out there want to know is why does the ABC take such a long period of time off over the long Christmas break when this is the time to show... When people are home on holidays, they can show all the programs that people don't normally get to see. There's a lot of things. But, but, and about digital... I mean, one of the things that might have happened is that, is that oh, Scott Before we could move have... on to digital, I just, I just want to have an, yeah. a, a response from Anne on the question of political... Anything. Look, payback. I think this is all being seen in a very different light from what's reality. The ABC's been on a trajectory for a number of years now to go digital, a little bit like Fairfax, and Mark Scott is very strong on digital. He's made a decision to pretty much scrap regional ABC TV... And he's, he's, he's made a decision, really, now to put $20 million into digital. There's nothing unusual about the ABC facing cuts. Hawke cut it by 7%, Fraser cut it by more, Howard cut it. And we didn't have cuts for the last number of years, seven years or whatever. And it's time to, to do a bit of, you know, sorting out of what money's being spent on. But if you look, and Peter Van Onselen put it very well on The Australian Today, if you look at the trajectory of the ABC, mm. it has become Sydney, Melbourne-centric and on digital. And so this is an attempt to compete with the Google industry, the international industry of digital news 24-7, whatever, and then you throw in a bit of entertainment at the edges. Yeah, but, but is and, there a and, mandate? And is there a mandate to, to do hands. that? There's not. It's is going, there a mandate to do yeah. digital? digital. It's, it's in the yeah, charter. Just, yes, it but... It has only just but come in. Where is it in the Australian... We're the taxpayers. Was there a survey done? But Did the ABC yeah, go out there and see what there people is, uh, want? If I can interrupt at one point... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think there is one key point that needs to be made here, and I know we haven't got to this part of discussion yet, but over the last 12 months I've been filming a documentary on bush politics and the Nationals. I think the reasons, one, one of the reasons that the Nationals are complaining, National MPs are complaining so loudly right now, is that they know they need ABC regional mm. officers for them to convey what they're doing in their electorates. Uh, regional newspapers are drying up. Uh, yep. That wasn't the case 20, 30, 40 years ago. But the ABC is at the forefront of delivering news in rural Australia. Yep. Therefore, that is why we're hearing such loud complaints now. But I, I would just uh, wonder, perhaps, why those complaints weren't made sooner. Well, this is true. And why didn't why did they sit there and allow these cuts to be made? And I totally agree. But there's yeah, also the there's also the no, no, hang on a minute, minute there, Helen. Just a minute. Bruce, 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 the Australian Bruce, network. Bruce, the Australian just let Anne, no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. Just, just let Anne finish his point Look, quickly. The, this, these decisions were made by management. Cuts to the ABC are not new. The management makes a decision about where the cuts will fall. And where the cuts have fallen, they have fallen on people who are not earning a lot of money, who are working in regional centres. It is the ABC. I agree with you on all of that. But for a number of years now, the ABC has become Sydney, Melbourne-centric and focused on okay, digital. OK, you've made that point. And this but is the, not the work of the ABC. Although it's gone into its charter, on, we are not providing public broadcasting yeah. okay, for the country. Minute, now, minute. Bruce's the whole... response... I, and I want to, do yeah. want to go to Heather, so just quickly, <laughs> yeah, Bruce. Yeah, I do want yes. to go to Heather because she makes a lot of sense. But the Australian Network... Thank you. The Australian Network <laughs> has, been, has been cut, and it was cut 
uh, as an act, I think, of appeasement to get the government off the ABC's back, and that was a huge mistake. The Australian network should not have been cut. It is soft diplomacy at its best. Okay. And, what, and, and having dealt with the ABC overseas for many, many years, uh, the Australian um, representatives, the Australian journalists overseas and overseas posts were as good, if not better, than their counterparts. The, Austra the ABC has a huge reservoir of talent, and what disappoints me more than anything that that's not recognised and that Scott is not standing up for his employees. But just on now, that, uh, that uh, Asia matter, the Foreign Affairs Department, uh, the government went over the oh, Foreign you know Affairs Department. No, I don't want to return to. No, sorry, and I don't want to return to. No, 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 digital reporting because quite often it's a sense of oh there's just there's our traditional broadcasting or there's online people don't understand that they work together they don't know that abc open for example uh does a lot of work in regional australia and that our you know digital audience or uh increased by 40 percent in the last in the last year how do you see that dovetailing with your reporting and with other regional reporting Look, I'm no expert on these things, um, and, and we're told over and over that digital is the way of the future, so I'm not going to dispute that. But what I will argue very strongly is that rural Australia really needs to have its own voice, and I think the regional offices, and I've seen many of them all around the country while I've been filming this, do a really extraordinary job. They're a mean, lean team. Uh, they work long hours, but they deliver the goods. I I'm sorry that, that some of these offices have had to close. I hope that there, there aren't any more because I really take my hat off to, to what those offices deliver. And I think what I've also picked up is that country Australia really does feel that it is neglected by the city. Even, even all these years, years on, that, that feeling has not gone. And I think that ABC services have helped to bring them closer, make them feel closer to the rest of the country and that, that somebody is listening to what they have to say. So when I was filming, I, I was getting people at National Party branch meetings saying, thank you, thank you for, for taking an interest on what we think. Mm. Uh, which I found very striking and interesting.